Hey, my name is Tom and welcome back to Low Carbon Lifestyle. We switched to a new electricity tariff just before Christmas. This was a new tariff from Octopus Energy called the Cozy Tariff, an electricity tariff designed for homes with heat pumps. It gives two periods of low cost electricity about 40% lower than the current price cap and it gives one period of really quite high cost electricity 50% higher than the price cap. We've been on this tariff for two months now, the coldest two months of the year and the most expensive months for heating. So what has the cozy tariff meant for us? Have we saved any money? Have Octopus made a lot of profit? Has it changed how we experience life at home? Well, let's have a little look. My name is Tom and this is a little series about a low carbon. Octopus are one of those companies that are managing to build a bit of a group of fans. An energy supplier with a growing fan base. That's not really normal for the energy industry. I don't remember people feeling the same way about energy companies in the past, getting excited about, uh, about one of the big six. Maybe starting groups like the N Power Rangers or British Gas Boys or the SSE Sisters. But with Octopus, and to some extent, those other disruptive companies like Bulb or Ovo, you start to see a bit of a supporter club. Octopus even sell merch. Part of this has grown because of the good use of social media, like the CEO engaging with people directly on Twitter. Part of it is through the use of media more broadly, um, a podcast, getting into the news, being on telly, all that kind of stuff. But I would say the main reason for the Octopus fan growth has been the products that they've come out with. And I'll admit, because of these products, I'm one of those fanboys, maybe even one of the sheep that listens to what Octopus say. I've even done videos about Octopus in the past. I've looked at their agile tariff and about their saving sessions. And, and as well as that, they've had tariffs to help EV owners and to help uh, value local renewable generation more through a meaningful export tariff. They've got their fan club, which is trying to promote wind turbines. They're trying to disrupt and decarbonize the heating industry by installing heat pumps themselves and even launching their own heat pump, which was reported recently. They, they could have come out with it in the next few months. This experimenting with the energy industry has been fun and different, disruptive and probably helpful. And if you follow the conversation online around Octopus, you might have heard people asking them to come up with a heat pump special tariff, a special heat pump tariff. Many of us tried using their Octopus Go tariff or one of their other flexible tariffs, but it didn't really work perfectly for heat pumps. So what would a heat pump tariff look like? If we need to use something almost constantly to maximise efficiency, like to some extent we do with heat pumps, then surely we just want a low cost tariff 24 seven. Well, that wouldn't really work for an energy company trying to shift us away from the most expensive energy, but it would be great for heat pump owners. So what have they done? Octopus Energy came up with the cozy tariff. And what's the cozy tariff? Well, it's two periods of low cost electricity, around 19 pence per kilowatt hour. Low, but not that low. We do live in strange times. And that lasts for around six hours per day over those two periods. It also has two periods of electricity just below the price cap rates, around 32 pence per kilowatt hour for 15 hours per day. And a period of really high cost electricity at 51 pence per kilowatt hour for three hours a day. So 21 hours a day below the price cap and three above it. Not bad. But in practice, what does this look like? Does it offer any savings or does it just mean dinner time is really expensive and our bills overall are more? So we're now two months in and in, the t in those last two months where we've needed the heat pump to stay warm. How have we managed with the cozy tariff? Well, it's meant that we've programmed the heat pump to generate hot water and to lift the temperature of the house a little bit in the cheaper hours and then turn it down a little bit in the more expensive times. So a heat pump that could be drawing around 700 watts for 21 hours a day to provide all the heat that we need and then drawing nothing between 4 and 7 p.m. And this has worked all right. It's, it's, it lets us give, the, give us a hot water boost just before we get up in the mornings or during the afternoons. And it means that we can put the dishwasher or the washing machine on during those low cost times. 
and avoid the peaks, which is great. And then whenever, and then whatever electricity we do need to use between four and 7 p.m. is kind of fine. So cooking dinner or using lights or whatever it would be might be more expensive in that time. But because we've shifted the majority of our load away from those peaks, we don't mind that expensive energy to power the oven or we just eat a little bit later. So what have our costs been for these first two months? Well, on our last two bills, we've used 415 kilowatt hours at the lowest rate, 780 at the middle rate, and only 102 kilowatt hours at the highest rate. This is sounding promising. And that's been an overall cost of electricity for the whole home, by the way, of 380 pounds in January and February. And that means we've had a rate of 29.3 pence for all our electricity, which is around 5p cheaper per kilowatt hour than what we would be paying at the price cap, which is great. And that's a saving around 60 pounds versus what we would have spent for that energy on the price cap. So thanks, Octopus. So does, does this impact our lives that much? Well, yeah, it does a bit. Turning off the heating for three hours on a wintry afternoon can have a bit of an impact especially in a fairly drafty old Victorian house like ours. Where having the heating on gives a good level of comfort for the rest of the day and for the night, the radiator is getting cooler for a few hours means that you could get a little bit cold if you're sat around. That period of time is often as we're finishing work or coming home from the office, so it's not always noticeable. But if it's a working from home day, and almost every day for my wife Esther is, and you're working until 6.37, sat at your desk, you could start to feel the cold. Really, I would like to be able to control the heat pump a little bit more. Give it a little bit more nuance. Still offer some heat, but drop the output during the expensive times. We could maybe set it at 50% of the output for that three hours. If it was drawing, say, 700 watts to provide water in our radiators at 40 degrees when the heating was on, then I'd like to be able to maybe draw 350, 400 watts and still have radiators running at 30 degrees, still heating the house, but dropping that demand at the highest tariff. The controls that we have on the heat pump um, through the sen Senso Comfort System from Valen, they don't allow for that, but it's something that I would love to see in the future. This would mean that that drop in heating would, wouldn't be as noticeable, but we would still be shifting when we use electricity albeit shifting it a little bit less. So that's not really a complaint about the cozy tariff, more about the heat pump controls themselves. And it does look like we're able to save through using this tariff by reducing the heat demand for three hours in the early evening. And as we get into warmer months where we need less heat in general, we might not benefit as much from this cheaper electricity. If our main load becomes cooking at say 6.30, for example, then our costs could be a bit higher, but we'd, be get, we'd, we'd still be getting cheap electricity to charge our hot water tank overnight or in the afternoon. So maybe we would still save. Ultimately, the question that keeps coming back to me on these videos is how much do heat pumps cost to run? Well, at 29 pence per kilowatt hour, rather than 34 pence per kilowatt hour, the price cap, heat pumps are that bit cheaper and much cheaper than a gas boiler, about £180 cheaper each year. So I think I would definitely recommend switching to the Octopus Cozy Tariff if you have a heat pump. And maybe if you're happy with a couple of cooler hours in the afternoons, you will save some money, which given how expensive costs are at the moment, wouldn't be a bad thing for anyone. So thank you Octopus for shifting that dial slightly for low carbon heating. If you want to see other videos about our heat pump, there'll be loads you can watch on the rest of my channel.